Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS5 console. So for those of you that aren't already aware, the specs of the PS5 actually got revealed by the PS5's lead head architect in a Wired article about 24 hours ago. And since then, we got a ton of really cool information regarding a lot of top AAA titles, including GTA 5, and how they're going to perform on the PS5. So we got a ton of really awesome stuff to go over in this video, so I recommend you guys stick around for the entire thing, and if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like, and also subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in into two quick shoutouts of the day, and right after that, we'll get into the actual video. So the first quick shoutout of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel, also known as Arizona Living. Every single Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Arizona Living posts a funny and informative video about living in Arizona. He has some really interesting content over there that I find really informative and also hilarious at the same time, so make sure you check out his channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for some really awesome videos. And the final quick shout out of Vegas to another awesome channel, also known as CNR Compilation. CNR Compilation posts all different sorts of compilation videos from funny TikToks, Fortnite videos, and also oddly satisfying compilations. He has a great mix of videos where he uploads them every single week, and they are super awesome to watch. So make sure you check out his channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for some really cool videos videos. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in into this video. So for those of you that don't already know the official specifications for the PS5, let me go ahead and go over them right now. Now I'm going to be doing a very brief overview, however if you want a more detailed report into everything, I'm going to make sure to have a link in the video description down below to an article that goes over every single confirmed feature. So just to name a few, first off we are getting all SSDs instead of regular hard drives like it is in the PS4 right now, we're getting support for AK graphics, ray tracing, an immersive sound experience, and also a much faster CPU and GPU. And then finally, the biggest one that everyone is super happy about, including myself, is official support for backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 4. So what does all this awesome stuff mean for the world of GTA 5? Let me go ahead and explain that right now. So first off, this hasn't been confirmed just yet, but I believe we can all agree that GTA 5 will obviously be coming to the PlayStation 5, and we should be seeing some massive improvements to the game, which I'm going to be talking about right now. So first off is going to be support for 8K resolution. Now this will not be native 8K. Native 8K is pretty much impossible to render even on a regular gaming PC at the moment, so this is most likely going to be upscaled 8K, however the game will most likely be rendered at something like 1440p or 4K, which is much higher than it is right now. On top of that, I am expecting there to be a much higher frame frame rate. Obviously right now GTA 5 runs at a fairly low frame rate even on the PS4 Pro, so I am expecting that to go much higher on the PS5, which is much needed and a much added addition for console players especially. Next up is going to be loading times. Now loading times are going to be massively, massively improved on the PS5. The loading times are going to be absolutely crazy because not only are we getting a much faster console in general, but we are also getting super quick SSDs to support that. According to the lead architect from Sony that is working on the PlayStation 5, he claims that the PlayStation 5 will have faster SSDs than are available to the commercial public. So these are going to be super impressive, super durable, and super quick, and I absolutely cannot wait to get my hands on them. So loading times are going to be drastically improved. Story mode is probably going to load up in under a minute, I would imagine, or maybe even less. These consoles are going to be super powerful, and the first thing you're going to notice is how quick the game loads up on the PS5. Now next up is going to be ray trace. Now, ray tracing is something I personally am not 100% educated on, so if you want to get some more information on it, make sure you search up a YouTube video or just Google it after watching this video. However, pretty much the idea is, is that ray tracing changes the way the light is distributed within a gaming environment, and overall the end result is the environment looks much more better, and it looks a lot more natural. Now, ray tracing requires a lot of GPU power, and that is why the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro simply cannot provide ray tracing because they simply don't have enough power to support that. However, with the PS5 that will of course be changing, and that console will of course support ray tracing for any game that supports it. Now please note that for ray tracing this is not something that is done automatically, this is something the developer has to code into the game, so if Rockstar wants to take full advantage of it, they will need to recode GTA 5 with a ray tracing enabled for the ray tracing to work inside the game. Now I personally am not a game developer so I am not 100% sure how hard 
hard it is to code ray tracing inside a game that is already created without it. However, I'm sure Rockstar will do it if they want to, and I guarantee the game will look much better with it. And then finally, the biggest addition to the PS5, which I find super interesting, is actually going to be the addition of a super immersive sound system. Now, this is going to be done from what I've heard with a premium audio card inside the PS5, and what I've heard is that the surround sound for players that have a surround sound system is going to be super noticeable and the games will sound a lot better. Now, like ray tracing, from what I've heard so far, this is something that needs to be coded manually inside the game. So again, Rockstar will need to take their PS5 dev kits, which by the way, they have right now, they're out there. Rockstar is playing with the PS5 as the moment, and they will need to code in that into the game so you can get that fully immersive experience. Now, from what I've read online and from what I've heard on Reddit and people familiar with the subject matter, this is only going to affect people with like a seven to one surround system or people with like a five to one surround system. So if you're playing with headphones, this is most likely not going to be very noticeable for you. But again, these are just rumors. And again, the PS5 will be having a much more premium audio card. So for those of you that are audiophiles out there, you will most likely be seeing a difference in games that support that premium audio format. And as I just mentioned, PS5 dev kits are out right now. The Sony executive that did the interview said that they were going to be sending more and more of these out even to smaller studios. At the moment, only bigger studios like Rockstar Games and of course the PS5 exclusive title studios have those. However, it does seem like Rockstar is working on the PS5 developer consoles and that does give them time to code all the stuff like ray tracing, premium audio, and other things to optimize the game for that console. Now, since the PS5 is technically running on the same architecture as the PS4, that is why PS4 titles are backwards compatible with the PS5. However, in terms of pricing, it is not yet confirmed whether you will have to pay for GTA 5 on the PS5 yet again or if you can play GTA 5 on the PS5 with the PS4 disc and experience all the brand new features. Now, I hope Rockstar does not make us buy GTA 5 again on the PS5 unless it is absolutely necessary by hardware requirements, but again, we're gonna have to wait and see until we get some more information regarding this. And speaking of a release date, the PS5 will not be released this year. And this was confirmed by the lead architect of the PS5 during an interview with Wired Magazine. And again, the link is in the video description down below if you guys wanna go Go ahead and read that full article. However, from what I've heard from rumors so far, the console will most likely be announced somewhere towards the later part of 2019 with a release sometime in early 2020. So GTA 5 on the PS5 is shaping up to be an experience like no other, and I absolutely cannot wait to see it. But let me know in those comments down below what your most favorite feature that you're looking forward to in the PS5 is. Is it the SSDs? Is it AK graphics? Are you looking forward to the premium sound? Are you looking forward to ray tracing. There is so much stuff to look forward to. Let me know all your thoughts in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys regarding this news. But either way, if you have not already, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But again, thank you for tuning in today. I really appreciate it and I'll be sure to speak to you guys tomorrow with yet another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.